Greetings, magnetic motor enthusiasts. A uh, little introduction here to my uh, Sky Collection inspired uh, Maglev Bedini motor, um, which has a bifiler coil of about 250 windings, traditional um, schoolgirl circuit here by Bedini and uh, some very powerful uh, N52 magnets um, that are suspending uh, this armature in the air. Uh, one side is touching. Zoom in on that. Um, that side is touching and this side over here is not even touching so and but it is being held by a, a magnet on the end there and also a magnet on this end here I thought a little graphic here explaining the particulars of the armature might be helpful um, there's three uh, magnets on the armature um, on the edges are two outer south facing magnets which have opposing south magnet uh, suspension system and that's a view of that whole system there you can see that it's a pretty powerful suspension you, you can't hardly even move it really and then what drives the there's the daft man bedini chart um, but the what drives the whole thing is a uh, the neo mags uh, has north south facing uh, from the core and these outer magnets look the same but they're actually magnetized axially so south north north south and then but this one is one half of the magnet is south and the other is north for this demonstration I'm just using two 9 volt uh, radio batteries uh, to power the whole thing uh, I have of course you know the schoolgirl circuit is one um, run battery and one charge battery uh, and this little circuit here uh, it's a traditional schoolgirl circuit so let's give her a spin here uh, There it goes. Now this thing is a really a Hummer. And mind you, this is on a tiny little 9 volt battery. Uh, I have to do an amperage uh, usage thing. But I mean, this baby hums. Now some of the problems I would like to point out, one is I haven't fully assembled this thing uh, totally, I'm still in experimental stages, but uh, down here one of the problems is this pot here is has a steel casing so it's magnetic and I was going to mount this panel up here pretty near the magnets. Uh, and I, I haven't yet installed, I was going to put a little glass bearing, or not a bearing, but a glass dimple here so that it doesn't do that awful thing that you're hearing right now. I'm going to disconnect it because it, it's so fast it uh, almost freaks me out here. Anyway, um, and uh, another one of the problems is that in spite of all my pre-planning, and if you try and build a little motor like this, now on Sky Collections, between his central magnets and these suspension ones, he has a much longer distance, and I was wondering why he did that, but I get it now. Because I am having a certain amount of uh, cogging uh, going on, uh, so even though it's a relatively friction-free setup 
with only touching on the very point there uh, and then the magnetic su suspension which is just really amazing and it does turn very freely but the thing is there's cogging see that it goes around a few times freely but then the cogging is what is actually causing a lot of the friction in this motor so uh, if I was to redo it I would make these axle parts I would suspend I would have these magnets a lot further apart from each other because I think what's happening is the suspension magnets are actually being attracted to the like pull of the armature magnet here in the middle another thing that you can do is this is kind of amazing and now I have it set over here against that Neo but it, it does work either way it's a very delicately balanced motor and it took me uh, really a long time to balance uh, the distances between these uh, suspension system magnets and that and the, the height of this and so on and as I just mentioned I I didn't get this dimension really right which those should have been further away or I might have been able to use narrower magnets here I thought this was a good way to go a, a great way to get a perfectly balanced armature um, it may be uh, have some other problems but one thing it doesn't is balance and it's a really perfectly balanced system so anyway, I just thought I'd give you a little rundown. Uh, maybe later I will try and post uh, some energy use statistics. And also I had a question for anybody who has any information about uh, any kind of magnetic shielding I could use to shield between the, the coil and these magnets and especially the suspension magnets and the armature. Um, to try and prevent that cogging because if I could get rid of that one last little bit of drag uh, which is pretty considerable really I mean you know I can feel it when I try and turn it so um, even though I'm eliminating the use of bearings which is great I've got this magnetic cogging going on so anyway uh, feel free to ask any questions and uh, I'll try and do an update as soon as I have a chance See you next time around.